here's my Cumulus VX OVA that I downloaded, and I'm going to import that into VirtualBox. Various settings are shown here. I'm simply going to import the image into VirtualBox. I'm going to import it again. So import the Cumulus VX image. What I'll do is rename this as switch two, and I'm gonna reinitialize all the MAC addresses and import it. I'll rename the first switch to switch one. And now in GNS3, let's import those images. So I'm gonna to go to Edit Preferences, VirtualBox, VirtualBox VMs, click New. And as you can see, it's picked up my two VMs. So I'm gonna import the first one and then import the second one. The Cumulus website once again gives us this information. So I'm now at step five where I've imported my VMs. So we need to enable GNS3 to work with the VirtualBox VMs network interfaces. So I'm gonna click edit on the first VM, click network, set the number of adapters to four, set the network type to para virtualized network, select this option, allow GNS3 to use any configured virtual box adapter. Now that kind of information is available once again on the Cumulus website. Now we told that GNS3 will override the network interfaces. So if you want to use the VM and virtual box, you might want to consider cloning them first, but I'm okay with that, so I'm gonna click OK. Select my second VM, click Edit, click Network, set adapters to four, set the type, and allow GNS3 to use any configured virtual box adapter, and click OK, and click OK again.